In this video, you will learn what athletes must do before confidence can be built. Let's use baseball because this sport is really tough on the ego and this is why so many players come to me for confidence building. Well, the truth of the matter about building confidence is you must first clear out the things that block or prevent it before you can ever do any building of it. Now here's what I mean. Pitchers, they're primarily measured for how many earned runs they give up. An earned run by the opposing team is a mistake or a choke to any pitcher. Fielders, they're measured by how many errors they have in the field. Can you get any more negative than using the word error? Batters, they get a little more of a break on the ego by being measured by their average which isn't a hugely inspiring word by any means. Nobody wants to be average, right? And if that isn't enough, there's countless ways to describe all the ways batters make mistakes, such as strikeouts, popouts, groundouts, flyouts, foulouts, can of corn, lazy grounder, weak pop fly, hard grounder to short, get robbed by the fielder, hit into a double play, fielder's choice, and it goes on and on for all the ways you can mess up. And for pitchers, it's no better. Why, you'd think baseball is obsessed with mistakes. And I don't even need to remind anyone in baseball about how performing three out of ten times at the plate is doing great. And this takes a huge toll on the psyche of any player. And it's actually going to have like a build-up effect if a player doesn't learn how to clear out the mistakes. It's been my experience working with players of all ages that this kind of mental baggage literally gets stored in the nervous system and the tissues of the body. And it later interferes with the player's ability to perform. And this is what prevents confidence from being built. So what do we do about it? Well, baseball players need to use a regular ritual routine or mental habit that releases the memory and energy from every mistake. And this goes for all athletes. For example, I know of a softball team that brings in a real non-working porcelain toilet into the dugout every game. Every batter after making it out goes back into the dugout and pulls down the handle and flushes away the event. Now this may sound silly, but it works very well to clear the mistake from the mind since we've all done this movement many times and the metaphorical meaning makes it emotionally powerful to release old emotions. Another trick is to go ahead and give yourself a specified amount of time to be angry, frustrated, disappointment and do what you need to do within sportsmanship to express out the mistake. For example, you might give yourself 30 seconds if you're on the bench or, or 10 seconds if you're in the field. Okay, I'm going to be angry for 10 seconds. Here I go. <laughs> Allowing yourself to feel that anger does not mean you act angry. Those are two different things. Go ahead and get angry and get some movement in your body at the same time to release the angry energy. Maybe if you're in the dugout, run in place. Or, or do some push-ups on the bench. That's how you express it out. If you're in the field, just maybe just wiggle or shake your arms and legs while imagining the anger and disappointment is flowing out of your body. My, my favorite strategy to clear the chokes is what I call the mistake maker technique. And this is where you imagine that there's a part of you that causes you to make mistakes. And after you make a mistake in your mind, you go and blame and dump all over him or her for causing you to make that mistake. All the while, you're great. Except for those mistakes that he's causing you to do. When you're done ripping on him, you forgive him to let it go. We all have a mistake maker. The job is to help you learn things. We don't have to make the same mistakes. Every mistake is completely unique and you learn from them. And that's your mistake maker's job to help you with that and to take the heat from it. That's why you can forgive them. All right? I have a guided visualization to take you through the whole thing with my assistance in the Mental Toughness Academy and, and uh, the Advanced Mental Toughness. However you decide to clear out your mistakes, this is a tremendously valuable mental skill that will set you up to play to your potential 
create a clean foundation for building confidence from the successes you have and will have. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.